What's up guys? Welcome to the Half Amazing TV YouTube channel. I am Johnny Fontana and I'll be bringing to you nightclub tips, news, tutorials, and of course, disagreements. We're just some men that's on the mic. And when we rock up on the mic, we rock the mic. Johnny Fontana, Half Amazing TV, bringing to you nightclub tips, news, tutorials, and of course, disagreements. Uh, right now, I'm using my iPhone, um, using a recording app, uh, which is very great. That's, an, that's another tip uh, for you guys if you're on the go, if you need to do a recording, interview, what have you, just you know, download any app and you know, you know, work with them, whichever features that suit you, uh, use it to your advantage, and, and that's the uh, the great thing right now about about uh, technologies you can just be on the go and you don't have to set up cameras and lighting and and take all this much time so basically what I did I just recorded this and uh, put up a picture and boom YouTube is on alright so this uh, this um, vlog is uh, a question that I have been asked many times uh, I've had to address it individually but this time I decided what I'm going to do I'm going to address it uh, so that others can uh, can can you know get a better understanding and so I don't have to just keep addressing it individually uh, this past week and I had a conversation with a buddy of mine uh, here in the DC area he's actually a photographer and uh, he wanted to know is DJing or sorry is DJ schools are DJ schools worth it and he also wanted to know what equipment that he would need in order to to start the process right so it's basically two questions and I'm gonna address them both uh, but as as I normally do I have to break it down from the beginning so you have a a better understanding because most times when you ask individuals they'll give you you know a short answer yes or no because it's 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 worth too much or you can you know just simply go on YouTube and learn but um for me, I like to paint an overall picture and give you options. So it's not really here to undermine uh, what it is, but I need for you to have a better understanding. So that's what I do. I, as a DJ coach, uh, I have to articulate um, the whole uh, idea and process so you get a, a full understanding. All right. So when it comes to DJ schools, we'll, 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 we'll tackle that first. It all depends on where you are in life. All right. Let's take it back all the way to the beginning. And many of you, many of you have heard me speak about the, uh, the, the trickle-down effect. Okay? It's like a cause and effect. What happened is that because of the surge of DJing, the content, media, everything being pushed to us, all right, we basically have gone from blind to 2020. So people see... Uh, artists, musicians, DJs, you know, reaching a level of success that they could not have without the media, without YouTube, without all these platforms, these, these visual platforms, right? So as a result of that, more DJs want to produce, they want to DJ, they want to get involved in music because that's what they see. That's the, co that's, that's the cause. The effect is now you have all these DJ schools, these production schools, all these services, uh, you know, popping up. And it's a simple economy. It's the same thing as personal training, you know. For example, I'm a personal trainer, and around Christmas time or New Year's, that's when everyone wants to start going back to the gym for their, you know, New Year's resolution. You have all these, these, uh, these, um, these promotions for personal training packages and so forth so where there's the where there is a demand there's the supply and and it's just the industry is going to take advantage of it so it's a service okay no matter if you think it's it's uh it's a waste of money many people think personal training is waste waste of money many people think college is a waste of money but it's all dependent on the individual okay so let's let's break it down here are the reasons why i think feel someone would need uh, to go or to attend a, uh, a DJ school. It's not about why you shouldn't because like I said it's a service. So any service anyone can find reasons not to not to uh, attend those services. But 
since the service is here and every service is worth it in their own right, let me break down what reasons, in my professional experience and opinion, one would uh, attend these services. Number one, if you are a, let's say, an individual that is underage, let's say you're 17, you're 16, you are not um, of age to go to the clubs and to go and booth ride, which is basically being behind the booth and watching the DJs do their thing, um, and you are also someone that needs uh, to be hands-on. You need that that lecturing environment. You need the schoolhouse, that physical structured environment where you see something, you apply it, and you ask questions. Then the schoolhouse would be better for you. Okay. Um, it's all technical, it's all entry level skills in a sense that most of these schools uh, provide the technical aspects such as production, uh, mixing techniques, uh, how to listen to music, all these technical and physical aspects that, that you need in order to play and produce the sound, right? So if you're one of those that you need that, um, the constant uh, question and answer, lecture and uh, followed by practical application, then school that school then is for you. For example, I did not need it for DJing, but I'm interested in 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 Canon photography. So I have a Canon uh, DSLR, but I have no idea how to use it, and I don't have the capacity to now spend all my time on YouTube watching it. Only reason why is because I just I can't learn that way on YouTube for technical. Um, equipment like SLR and so forth and so forth. Some people may be able to to, to, to do that with, with, with camera with photography but not able to do that with music because music offers different um, uh, processes and, and, and techniques. So it, it all depends on a person. So if you're a person that you need that environment and you can't learn through YouTube, go through it. Also it depends on where you are in life. If you are a person that you know, you have a career, you're in school, and you can't dedicate the time to now uh, spend, you know, an hour, two hours a day to learn, not practice, right? Because when you're, when you're considering, considering school, you haven't even entered the practice phase. You don't even have the equipment yet. You're thinking about learning the actual art and craft of DJing. So do you have now the time based on your overall lifestyle and your daily activities, your responsibilities, whether you're in college, your school, you have other hobbies, you have sports, or you know you have a family, you have a job, do you have the time and do you have the discipline to set aside one hour to two hours going after music, being able to pair music, being able to, 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 to practice and to learn the art from scratch? Some people don't have that discipline. So therefore, they need to now go and pay a school in order to teach them and show them and, and by them paying, then that's a sort of way or motivation because they know that they're, they're, they're using their, their money and they're not going to, to, to waste it. Same thing as personal training. Some people can train themselves. Some people say, well, you know, personal training is, uh, is a waste of money, Right. Uh, well, some people don't have the discipline to push themselves. They don't have the motivation. But if they're paying uh, someone else that has that education, then they'll put aside the time to go and, and, and work out. So it, it all depends on the level of discipline and everything else. Okay. Um, as far as success is concerned, it doesn't really matter whether or not you are in school or you're not. Success doesn't come from uh, being... Uh, dependent on a school to learn or on your own. Success uh, depends on uh, more, or, I'm sorry, on different uh, factors such as being at the right place at the right time, who you are as an individual, how you um, associate, how you socialize, um, and just right timing, uh, with the, the value that you provide um, as an individual. You know, a lot of these little things. Um, uh, depend, you know, how, how consistent you are in providing the value. So these things um, and success are different than actually you getting involved. So also financially, if you now are financially stable 
and you are able to now spend the money on these schools do so but keep in mind that you you haven't even purchased any gear yet so you have to make a decision am I going to now spend money on learning the craft and then per and then save up now start from scratch again and save up for the equipment because while you're in school you can use their equipment however just like any other course just like when I when I went through the uh, police academy what you learn in in class it's one thing but then you now have to go back and and uh, and 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 practice on your own. Now they have some after-hours courses or times where you can stay behind and practice on your own. But during the weekends, they, they, you may not have that luxury because the the uh, the, or the school the schoolhouse may be closed. And if you don't have your equipment, then whatever you learned throughout the week, you may forget. So that's the course you may have. You you may pay now for spending on the actual course and not having equipment on your own. So that you have to also take that into consideration, okay? But if you are a person that you are fine with just going to the schoolhouse and learning there and then saving up for your own equipment because you have the time, you have the luxury, then that's fine, you know? But if you're young um, and, you know, your parents are able to afford, you know, to, to, to purchase equipment and also pay for your college or you're paying for college and your parents are paying for your equipment or what have you or you're going half and half, then you know you, you you find a way to do it, but financial you have to consider that as well, because it's not just you going to the schoolhouse and you're learning. Especially if it's online course, you're gonna need your own equipment. So not only are you paying for the equipment, you're paying for the course as well. So that's just something that you need to consider, apart from whether or not you should. Um, sorry, uh, um, apart from the, the actual pros of of of, um, of attending the school. Now that's part one. Let's let's talk about what gear you need in order to start. Okay, you're gonna need basic gear, basic nightclub standard equipment. That's what you need to start off first. That means you need you're gonna need uh, CDJs. Okay, CDJs because that's the basic nightclub gear. Okay, you're gonna also need USB or CDs. Okay, nowadays a lot of them have the USB capabilities where you can do the link and you can sync but some of them may not have you may have a CDJ 800 where you have to use your CDs okay or your laptop okay so that's the very basic minimum in terms of learning okay in terms of storing your gear your music you can have a laptop you can use different software the DVS but that's another uh, platform that you and, and learning curve as well but as far as the basics, it's just getting your CDJs, a mixer used for cheap, and working on starting um, to practice, understanding how, understanding the technical aspects of how to mix and how to pair music and how to uh, pair genres and, and how you know to distinguish between mood settings and so forth those are the things that you need before you even start investing in in four hundred dollar software and and a thousand dollar cdj and mixers okay you want to get a nice two hundred dollar four hundred dollar set uh... which includes maybe two cd suit two cdj's and maybe another hundred fifty to two hundred dollars for just a two channel mixer just to get you started and you know some speakers for fifty bucks or your home speakers that is what i recommend just to start the basics you want to walk before you crawl all right, uh, and then you can also use the YouTube videos as well. Uh, that will help indeed. Um, and also, as far as like mine, giving you techniques. But a lot of individuals get into this situation where they buy controllers, and when they end up at the clubs, that's what happened to me. I had a I had a guest DJ. He came over, and the, his partner that was supposed to bring the the uh, his uh, controller was late or was coming behind. So as I had him play, he basically had Tractor. He was using my audio, audio 8, but he was really train wrecking. He really didn't have an idea or clue on how to use the CDJs. Then he went from the, the Tractor, his Tractor, to, to the uh, USBs. You know, he did a little better, but still, he was just cutting music, you know, on and off. And you can tell that his mixing wasn't on par and he had really no experience uh, in using just the CDJs alone. Then his friend came and bought the controller, and boom, he was good to go. He was mixing. Obviously, you can you know take away whatever you want from that scenario, but had he been 
had had he had not the controllers and he was in a a bigger setting where he really had to to provide or you know to to provide a show you know and showcase his talent and being able to take him on a journey using his his skills uh, it'd be very difficult because he wasn't he didn't have his tools which were the actual controllers now there's nothing wrong with now you know having a controller because that's your tool that's what you're used to and it's kind of hard from going from a controller to CDJs yes however the CDJs are the basic standard equipment now and you're not always going to be able to set up your your, your laptop your, your controllers so and because now you have USB you have the red uh, the, the red the record box where you can now organize your music via the software and you can you know organize everything even you you have iTunes where you can organize everything on your on your folders have separate folders and link them to your USBs and then bring them to the club and p place them into the USB ports and you're good but those are big clubs standard clubs where they have that equipment you may have a lounge where they only have CDJ 800s and now you have to play with uh, you know your CDs and just make go old school and create your CDs but anyway that's uh that's that's the, the basic line the bottom line of it if you have any questions go ahead and uh, send me a, uh, a link don't forget to share you know sub subscribe because there are other individuals that want to have an idea um, and especially those that are that are coming into it new those that are 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 getting out of it and that are that, that, that find themselves coming back after a year they want to know, okay, is, you know, is, is uh, schooling, is production worth it? As far as production, I definitely advise a school uh, for production because it's very difficult to learn hands-on. I can't learn production hands-on. DJing was different. I was able to, I didn't need YouTube. I started DJing in 1993, and I practiced on my own through hearing, through everything. So I didn't need schooling. But for production, if I want to get serious with it, I would have to go to school because I can't learn through reading and through YouTube uh, videos. It's just too difficult because I need to ask questions. I need a schoolhouse setting where I'm at, you know, scenario based and so forth. So it's just it's just what it is uh, for me. So if you feel that that's the same way for you when it comes to DJing, then go ahead and spend that money. But keep in mind, you're also going to have to have money for that equipment as well. All right, but the, for the basic equipment. So Johnny Fontana, Half Amazing TV. Thanks for uh, listening. Uh, if you have any questions, info at Boothrider TV dot com and uh leave the messages down below comment subscribe share this and uh we out we'll do it live fuck it fucking thing sucks <laughs>